of Cos Midnight Lights Gaming. Excited to bring this video to you because it's something I'm going to learn with you. I wanted to stream this uh, because I've got some questions that I don't have the answers to. I want to figure them out together. And those questions namely are for this video, what are the different kinds of non-boss enemies? I, I know they're general, like what general fighters are out there besides bosses. But now that I've gone through the practice mode, and now that I, obviously I've been playing the game a lot, there are, within each type of fighter, there are also subtypes or, or levels that we've learned a lot more about since the practice arena got a lot better. So, the questions I have are, what are the different kinds of non-enemy, non-boss fighters? How can you tell the difference between, like, what's the difference between a level one and a level two? And as I go through this, I'm going to, like, get a sense of what's the secret sauce. Like, what are some things that seem to work with them? I won't spend too much time with that. Um, but I did want to start distinguishing these because, uh, like I said, when the, the practice arena came out, it illuminated some things. What? What else? Uh, channel updates. One is that, yeah, I'm in my push to a thousand subs. I'm so grateful for the, I have some amazing subscribers already that, um, just make me feel great because I love making these videos and whatever happens, wherever this channel goes, I really, I'm really enjoying doing this. That said, if I ever get to a thousand subscribers and or start making a single dime from any of these videos, then... Half of it's going to go to a charity we choose every month as a subscriber community. I'm going to upload receipts. You, you'll see everything. Every dime I make, you're going to see too. No gimmicks. I'm just trying to do some good. I love making these videos anyway, so why not? Mm. Got lots of Forspoken content out right now. I'm psyched about that game. Not super psyched, but pretty excited. I'm going through all the Sifu goals, so definitely check those out. I'm really enjoying making those tutorials. I'm having a lot of fun with them. And they're really guides. They're not like uploading a successful run at a goal. Like I, I slow it down. I give tips. You should definitely check those out. I've got a lot of God of War stuff out there. Um, some of those videos are getting, are, are some of my most popular. I'm going to, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 75% sure uh, after Forspoken if I can get it done fast enough, I'm going to jump into Hogwarts Legacy. I might do some videos before it even starts. And then, um... So, yeah, we'll see. We've got Forspoken, Hogwarts Legacy, Jedi Survivor. I'm going to do some videos before Jedi Survivor comes out, too, focusing on combat, what's changed. So, I don't know. Lots going on. I'm hoping to really basically not have anything to do other than make videos, which... Makes having a job kind of annoying. <clears throat> I'm lucky to have one. And I'd rather be making these videos for y'all. What else? What else? Those are all the channel updates. So again, the three questions we're answering in this video are what are the different the differences between each subtype of fighter? Like what's a level one hench gangster versus a level two versus a level three? And What's the like kind of secret sauce? What what are some of the moves I use to try and get through their different styles? So, you know, you, again, just bear with me because I'm learning this too. I really want it. Do their combos change that much? Um, I'm not sure they do. Um, so let's go ahead with gangster base one. Again, we've seen this a million times, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Um, obviously, this is like the most vulnerable, the least effective fighter. Um, that's kicking my butt still. I'm trying to find the... Yeah, that's the one you can parry. Or, excuse me. Um, geez. Perfect parry or deflect. That's what that's what it's called in this game. So that's the secret sauce to them. You can deflect. They, they typically start with one or two things. Or they always do, maybe. It's the same combo. It's either that big wind-up. Or it's two, two shots. And the two shots you can... Just parry both of them, but the second one will deflect, and then you can really have your way. All right, enough with that. Let's see what, um, let's see about version base. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, this is the number. So we've got base, advanced, mini boss. All right, so let, we know advanced. This comes up 
Yeah, after we sort of go upstairs right in the... <clears throat> in the squats. Um, it can be an annoying part of the level. Okay, but combos seem to be the same. Or pretty close to the same. It seems like their wind-up, they sort of follow it up with. No, that was different. It's just extended combos. They just do... It's still the same thing. They start with the same two. And you can just parry both. Just plan on parrying them. And then with one combo, you'll deflect the second phase of the combo. With the big wind-up one, you'll deflect that punch. And then you can stun them and, and really do your thing. But I'm going to just block. And we'll kind of see... Dot, dot. Okay, so the combo is... Punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, kick. Pretty, pretty easy. I, I, yeah, I've never really done this. I just feel like I'm, you get so used to them. And I know there are more than this, and sometimes they'll have a weapon, which changes everything, too. Let's get a little room for the Holy Spirit, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, so if you do, let me know. Okay, let's do some more blocking. So that was the bigger wind-up. And then two kicks that follow, but none of them are unparryable. Boom. Okay. Super easy. Or at least, like, that makes sense. We just know the combos go the, are longer, but you still... Their vulnerabilities are the same from base to advanced. Okay. Gangsters, advanced, mini boss. So, yeah, let's see. what What's different about them? I'm trying to think about these, tw these two in that room in the squats. I guess I should... Ooh, okay. That's a different move. This is also on... Um, master difficulty, by the way. So we've got... Kind of a low... A high mid. That was a pretty long combo. Not seeing any vulnerabilities off the bat. Honestly, I think avoiding is probably the way to go here. That's good that... Okay, so... Sometimes he'll do that high kick and then a sweep. So if you avoid, yeah, you definitely, the secret sauce is to avoid. Because it opens up a ton of vulnerability windows. Because a lot of these attacks are, ooh, I got to interrupt that one. Maybe we'll try that again. Just by pressing triangle. But a lot of their attacks are, um, you know, unparryable or, or, you know, lit up. And so... That means you can avoid, and it'll open up a vulnerability. I mean, that's delightful to know, actually. I'm not sure, you know, typically so busy kicking their ass. I don't actually pay attention to their combos, even in Master Difficulty. All right, let's see what else he's got. So, two-kick combo. I guess maybe a three-kick combo. That's that two-punch, but he followed it up with a bigger combo last time. But, yeah, just avoid. Do a lot of avoiding with the... I'll try and parry... Let's see if I can get any. Not really. And I guess those aren't unparryable. They just are like high structure damage is the best way to describe it. I think there is a name for them. Maybe I'll check in the, the hideout when I get there. All right. I think we're good with this mini boss. I don't... I'm not sensing anything that I can deflect... Let's see about doing some crotch punches on Sifu. I'm not as good at there are so many there are some Sifus out there on YouTube that use crotch punch so effectively it's kinda of ridiculous, but Ooh, that's good. That's what you can do. Let's try that. Uh, let's try crotch punches to interrupt combos. It's so good with oops. With the flash kickers. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good for him. So it seems like the secret sauce is a lot of avoiding. Don't deflect. If you avoid, you're going to open up plenty of vulnerability windows. And you can interrupt his combos with crotch punches. I was just making sure I wasn't on mute. All right. So we've got Gangsters down, which is a silly name um, for a fighter. <coughs> Why not just fighter, basic fighter? Gangster. All right, let's see what we've got next. Juggernaut's base, advanced, mini boss. So this looks, mini boss is 
the sanctuary. There's at least two or three of them. This is the club, maybe? Definitely the museum. But yeah, honestly, I do the same thing with these guys no matter what. So let's see what's different, if anything. So this is base. Base juggernaut. Make him aggressive. Yep, we know that one. Getting just a void at the last minute. Why's he got these rubber gloves on, man? Is this all you're going to show me? Nope. And then there's a, what's that, a four-phase combo? And you're just avoiding all of them, and then... And then there's a vulnerability window waiting for you when you avoid the last one. And you can really, I mean, go to town. I think I can get, like, pretty much any... I mean, that was a four-phase combo. Um, so... I wonder if I can do the, like, breakneck thing. I'm not even sure. Oh, that was pretty much it. I, I don't I don't think it works super well on him. So sometimes he does that big old thing. You saw how much structure damage that did. Sometimes I just don't get the timing for that. Anyway, that that's it. Just do a lot of avoiding. And you'll open up vulnerability windows at the end. Let me... And you can get a three or four phase combo in. Oh, you can. I didn't. I've never even really tried to deflect any of his fights. Uh, fights. Any of his combos. I'm loving the rubber gloves in the practice arena. Um. They're kind of this nice shininess to him. Stop. I think triangle's the best thing to do. Yowzer. I'm just trying to see where I parried him for it. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem... It seems just so much easier to avoid. <laughs> okay, let's... So that's just base. Advance. Let's see what's different. Still same four-phase combo. I was able to get a three-phase combo in after that last avoid. Four-phase combo. Oh, that's good. That, that, that could end up being a five-phase combo. I think that was square, triangle, square, triangle. Well, that, he's stunned now, so it doesn't count. But you could get a four-phase combo with the... Not chasing strikes, the other one. Not duck punch. Whatever it's called. A crooked foot. What's that move called? Let's go look. I use it so much, you, you'd you really think I'd, I'd know it by now. Lightning strikes. Sharp strikes. Crooked foot. No. Mm. Chasing trip kit. So effective. But that's all I'm doing. That That's a five-phase five phase combo you can do. Dot, dot, dot. Pretty solid. So that's square, triangle, back, forward, square, triangle, and then um, ground and pound. I am not seeing a difference here, y'all. Maybe it's just HP. I really... Help me out if you see something. I guess... Was that different? He does more... He does, the, his one phase attack before was more of an uppercut than a... Oh, shit. Okay, well... It seems very similar to me. But just avoid, and at the end of all of his combos, you've got a nice... You've got plenty of windows. I, I don't see a big difference between advanced... Maybe there's an additional attack that's just one phase. That's all I can find. But so, secret sauce is avoid... Just avoid, and then I'll open up that window, and then you, uh, at the end of the combo, and open up the chance for a four, five phase combo, three, three to five, depending on how you go about it. All right, let's see what mini boss looks like. If that's any different, I'm trying to think. Definitely the museum. Yo, that's the same combo. One, two. Nope. Couldn't get as long of a combo in. So that's that one phase attack. 
Same thing there. It doesn't seem like it's any faster. One phase attack. More one phase attacks. More big old haymakers from this advanced guy. So that's the combo we like. Oh, and I, I couldn't... Yowzer. I couldn't um, sweep in there, but let's see if I can do a, a chasing sweep. Oh, wow. That combo's just keep going. Just keep keeping it going. So yeah, there, there, you just not as many windows to... I mean, I, I, I don't think it's the... Sometimes they do this. Some, for whatever reason, the practice mode, they'll they'll do some AI that is not how they are in the actual game. I want Because this doesn't feel familiar with the that constant combo he was doing. Yeah, you really can't get in... Whoa, oh! So that's definitely the museum. These, This is the two guys you get. You really need to avoid... One, two... Yeah, okay, you just got... There's a tempo. Ooh, I got to sweep in there. So what was happening is is I wasn't avoiding the third strike of that five, four or five phase combo, but you kind of got to avoid... It's like slow, slow, quick, slow. Oh, shit. I'm playing for a three phase. Dot. That's a big, big one. I probably could have attacked there. Two. So if you don't avoid the third one, he keeps going. Oh, but you can get, you still can get that combo. So that feels like the secret sauce. When he does, when he does his combo, you've got to avoid all three, at least in the practice mode right now. And the fourth in order to open up the window. Pya. Pya. See? You gotta get, you gotta get all of them. It's so interesting. It's, he's harder because his tempos are, like, some are really slow haymakers, some are, um, you know, his four-phase combo is, like, pretty quick. I'm not quite spamming it, um, for the first three, but I, I did kind of spam it. Oh, triangle. Yeah, triangle is best. Oh, goodness, I really used it. You can barely get in a, an attack if you avoid his, like, one phase big haymaker up or down. Like, it's not a vulnerability window. He's just slow. Because he's a big boy. We like big boys. So, gotta, gotta get the timing right to avoid... All four of that combo, that's the secret sauce. Then we'll open up a window. Square triangle, chasing sweep. Um, I gotta look up the name again. I can't believe how quick I forget stuff. I, I My brain is not good. Um, chasing trip kick. Chasing sweep. Chasing strip. So square triangle, chasing trip kick, and then ground and pound is a pretty nice four or five phase combo. Yeah! I Okay. Good with juggernauts, flash kickers. I think, am I going to just jump to advanced? No, I'll go one by one. Y'all are hanging with me. All right, let's do flash kickers. That doesn't sound right. Let's fight flash kickers. Again, these are, my sense from flash kickers is th there's, a, you, re you do really kind of get the difference between, even more so than some of the other kinds of fighters than you do with, you get in master to disciple difficulty, flash kickers feel like a pretty big difference. What the hell kind of shoes are those? There's a lot of sweeps too. Hmm, hmm, sweep? Yeah, okay, so we know that, con that's one combo. Okay, a lot of sweeps. That's, they, that's really what they did in master difficulty. They just, sweeps are happening, so anyway, I'll show you the real secret sauce, but and I'm doing some avoiding there, but just don't be afraid to um, to block because sometimes it can just sort of feel like you don't know when that sweep's coming. That delay has got me twice. Ooh, that's good. So there's 
Let's try doing a lot of pairing. So I don't mind blocking because you can typically make some room and get your structure back. So I'm going to show you what it's like to just sort of hold L1 and do a little bit of avoiding. That's every time. Every time she's done that combo, it's gotten me. This is my favorite. Okay, I'm holding L1, just trying to avoid. Shoot, the sweeps get me, man. The sweeps get me. See, you got it that time. That high punch um, is followed up by a sweep pretty much every time. So holding L1 and avoiding where you after you pick up a combo is a pretty good pretty good strategy. Let's try um, parrying. So that combo was nice uh, for a parry. This one I doubt I'm going to be able to parry anything. Or deflect. You can parry all of it. Getting a little structure damage here. That's the one. That's the one you, you can parry the third phase of the combo. But I'll, I'll show you the secret sauce to the flash kickers now. It's just a, a duck, a crotch punch. Anytime they start their combo, just do a crotch punch while they're starting it, and it interrupts it. It's really kind of marvelous. And it's not cheap. It doesn't feel like cheesing to me because you have to get the timing right. But for whatever reason, it really is like a distinctive vulnerability for what I imagine is all different levels of flash kickers. But let's test that theory out. So base, now we're advanced. This starts in the club. Um, I guess I should make them actually try something. That was going to be the a sweep after that. Okay, so she started with a sweep on that one. Ooh, that was different. That's the combo we can parry. You also, to do the secret sauce, you want a little distance between... Same combo. Ooh, that'd have been cool. Yikes. You want a little distance between her so you can actually see your start and get your timing right. See them start. Flash kick. Advance, number one. Nothing. This works on the mini bosses too. It's it's pretty wild. Now that being said, she does recover faster than the base. Oh no. I mean sometimes she, she recovers a little bit faster, but so some more speed, some uh, uh, one or two different show me combos, but the vulnerability remains the same. And that seems to be a common theme, like same with the Juggernauts. You got a different combo, they're a little more resilient, but their vulnerability remains the same. All right, let's do mini boss to see if it's what's different. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's just like flashbacks to the museum that we don't want. Two of these at once is a lot to deal with. So, you know, as I always do when I'm kind of like, all right, remind me what this fighter does, what your combos are, I pretty much start by holding L1. And then when I recognize the combo-ish, I'll start avoiding. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yes. So all of them have that combo, and... There doesn't seem to be a lot of change on it, and if you avoid that sweep, you're in good shape. And their vulnerability is the same. So this is a good reminder in the museum when there's two of them, you can, if you can isolate one and do what I'm about to show you right now by using the secret sauce, you can, you can isolate them even further because you're going to knock her down. So you could do that, then you could take on the next one, dot, 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 try and do the same thing, then come back to her. She's going to do a, a combo. You're going to crotch punch. Do a chasing trip kick, boom, then take on the next one, dot, 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 same thing. That's kind of the tempo 
when you do when you do this fight in the museum. But make no mistake, this mini boss is tough. Without the secret sauce, I don't. Know, I think this mini boss is tough because the combos are. Well, she's got fucking blades on her feet. I mean, that's part of ooh, kick in the face there. Um, she's got blades on her feet. Okay, that was a. I think the advanced one does that combo too. One, two. That's our Fady. Pop. All right. Sean's Disciple. I really like Sean's Disciple because they also... Yeah, the, so the common theme here are as you advance through the different levels or, or, you know, each kind of archetype. Ooh, that's good to know. That's what they call it. So this is the archetype, Sean's Disciple. Um, each archetype, as you advance through base, advanced, mini boss. Their combos change. They're a little more resilient. Their vulnerability windows aren't... They're a little more resilient to your attacks. Their vulnerability windows aren't exactly the same. But the common thread is certainly still that their their vulnerabilities are still the same. Where the thing that helps you defeat... More easily defeat the base version of the fighter also helps you with the mini boss. The problem, of course, is their attacks are a lot more difficult. All right, but let's archetype. That's what they call them. Archetype. This is Sean's disciple. So you encounter the first one in the club, right? Is there a Sean's disciple in the squats? I don't think there is, but there's a bunch in the club, as you can imagine. And it starts with that one sitting on the bench you have a little dialogue with. All right, and that's a base Sean Disciples. That's what we got. We're going to turn to aggressive now. And that's our combo. That's the combo we want to see every time. Well, that was interesting. Because you can, you can deflect the last phase of that combo. And boy, do they do it a lot. And it's, it's really great because, I mean, what was that? A three-phase combo plus a ground and pound for a five? And they, they just show you show you that combo a lot and because you can deflect it there's just so many options you can do to punish them um it's the last move of their combo yeah i mean that's it that's all you need to know i, I won't belabor the point let's let's keep moving all right advance let's see what we got advance so i imagine i think with advance we're going to see a kick, the sort of elevated kick, like the high kicks we need to duck for. Yeah, I heard it was. So that's a different combo than the, the basic doesn't have that combo. But it does have that one, which is our favorite one. But see, that's what it was. What you just saw, that's where the base one, the base archetype there's a vulnerability window every time i avoid there but not always as the archetype advances which is kind of interesting and those high kicks typically do follow up with a sweep but you can avoiding them before the sweep like avoiding the high kicks will create a vulnerability window so you don't have to worry about the this is only longer because i stunned him So it really is just kind of adding that that high kick. It's cool. I'm glad I'm doing this. I'm getting some more of the language. I'm figuring out the difference and how to kind of identify them. And yeah, it makes sense that I haven't felt like I had to do this because the difference between the fighters is close enough and their vulnerabilities remain the same. So we're almost almost the same so I, I haven't really had the need to like figure out the details of it but I have wanted the language so that's the same that's a different combo because there are four phases but it still ends with a straightforward like mid punch that you can avoid and open up a bit or excuse me you can deflect and open up a big window remember deflect is just the same as a perfect parry all right let's see what yikes Let's see about, come see about me, a mini boss. 
uh, hold on. All right, dog escaped. You know how it is. Not on mute, good to go. We're on Sean's Disciple Archetype version mini boss. Let's rock and roll. As I get kicked in the face. That's how I like to start every fight. Wow. Um, athletic and tall. So in the museum, we get mini boss of Archetype Sean's Disciple. And yeah, in the sanctuary. See what you got. Ooh. So that's the same combo as the previous version, the advanced. It's just a sort of a highish kick. I just avoid, I'm just avoiding back. Okay, so that's, this makes me, in the club, the twins in the club, and I call them twins. I don't, I don't, I don't know that they're related. That was fun. All right, come on, pal. Explain what you're doing. Let's see what other... So, yep, just a bunch of high kicks. I think you'd basically just avoid one, two, three. That was cool. Do I get to do... Ooh, that was a new... I, that combo, I think, is that one phaser, if it is one phase, but that, like, hard elbow, which we can do, too. Um, so if we don't get the timing of that, she'll do a sweep. But the hard elbow seems to be only for the mini boss. That one, that move. It's not even a hard elbow, it's sort of like a punch. Ooh, kick in the face. In the face. Wow, I got you know, it's interesting in this in this game, I feel one of the like deltas, the thing I need to like really get better at, is when the first attack comes in. I'm never I'm I'm never quite ready for the first attack. I really need to get better. That's where I get most of my damage done, is the first, like the quick snap kick, um, particularly from Yang, that gets me sometimes. One, two, three, punch, punch. There's your four or five phase combo right there. I'm not seeing a big difference here other than the running, lots of high kicks, that seems to be for the mini boss, as does the, the like hard elbow-ish thing. Are you going to do that every time I give you a lot of distance? That's interesting to think about for the twins. Although you, you can't, in that fight in the club, you, you can't get enough distance. But if you see her running, if you see the mini boss Sean's disciple running, it seems like... Oh, that's interesting. Let's see what else I can parry, if anything. And by parry, I mean deflect. So we know that's going to fall up with a sweep, which is a good vulnerability window. Can't deflect any of those. Of course, that's the that's our, and that's what you see the most. The, the hardest thing with them is they, you know, the mini boss typically has a weapon. Once you disarm them, I mean, you're good. And these these are not tough combos to 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 get a hang get the hang of. So that's follow. So that's how she starts up her like. So mostly with the mini boss, you're doing some more avoiding. You're not seeing that really nice combo that you see with the the less difficult versions. Ow. But if you do see the hard elbow, it tells you that the last phase of that combo one and then deflect like Ooh, wow, I got to deflect the That was fun. There's something to play with there. I gotta get better at, at deflecting or avoiding parrying the the second phase of that combo. That one there. Ooh. Top, top, top. Now, one interesting thing that I, I'm realizing now, although I'll play with this right now, I'm going to try and just avoid everything with one direction. No ups, no downs. 
because I think it's changed. I feel like there's high now. No, I just avoided back for those. It does seem like you still don't have to avoid down. Like, there's no such thing as ducking. There is lifting your leg to prevent a sweep from taking you down, but everything else still seems to be... It's like every direction and then up for a sweep to avoid. You can use any direction to avoid everything but a sweep. Like, I was just doing back away from the fighter for these high kicks. Huh. I thought that changed. I thought you had to duck for high things. Like, you had to do L1 and down. Or block and down. But you, it doesn't seem like you do. If I'm wrong, though, let me know in the, in the comments. Is this it? Is this our last? Oh, bodyguard. Of course. Base, advanced base. Yeah, so there's just base and advanced. And you can see there's a massive difference between the two. You know, all black or a white shirt. All business, the bodyguard. All right, let's see base. Oops, nope. Yikes. I don't like to get hit. Confirm. All right, so this is base. The base of the archetype bodyguard. That's good. I mean, this is, that's a, just do that every time, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I do a lot of avoiding. Ooh, yikes. Man, that kid's that's brutal. So I'm pretty sure you can deflect that one. It's really hard to sweep a bodyguard. They have to be, like, stunned. So avoiding's good because a lot of his combos end with that hard punch that if you avoid... I mean, I'm not going to call it a vulnerability window. Like, this dude's not giving me anything more than a one or two phase combo during a vulner vulnerability window. Nope. I, I don't think I got the timing to deflect that. Ouch. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I can deflect here. Oh, there we go. Ouch. So that you can deflect, which is kind of nice. So that's a three-phase combo. I'm going to keep trying to deflect. Yeah, so you see him kind of wind up like that. Man, that's straightforward kick. That's the, that's the secret sauce. That combo is amazing. One, two, three, boom, got it. But he doesn't give you much to work with. Like, it's not a big vulnerability. Let's see if I can crooked foot him. Ooh, I, I, I deflected the first. Oh, yeah. That's good. Crooked foot is solid. As a response to that three-phase combo, you can deflect. Whoops. Oh, come on. The pause menu saved you, bro. Crooked foot. Yeah, I'm digging that. It does a lot of damage, and... Gives you a chance for a ground and pound. Because he block, he'll, he'll block. Maybe I'll try. He was stunned. What else do we want to try? Maybe I'll try right to him. Sorry, I forget the name of, of some of the, uh, the things. What's the one that's back forward square? Palm strike, duh. Let's try a palm strike and a vulnerability. Oh, that was good. Might be able to get that with the chasing trip kick. Nope, didn't get the timing right. No, the palm, it's not knocking him back. That's wild. This is strong, dude. <laughs> so that's the secret sauce. Waiting for that three-phase combo. Deflect the last one. You get, you'll get your... You'll get your bigger vulnerability window for a three-phase three or four-phase combo. Now, the other ones you can get like a punch or two in, but not much... That's the one we like. But not much more than that. Like, if you just avoid and you don't do deflections, there aren't big vulnerability windows for you. 
you gotta focus on breaking the structure, I guess. Okay, that was effective. Let's see if we can do some more. Oh my god. Like, why can't I remember anything? Charge backfist. I timed that terribly. Well, that seems to be working okay. It's also... Huh. Again, this isn't my go-to. The timings tend to be pretty tight, but it's working quite well with this dude. Like, exceedingly well. <laughs> this could be one of those things, though, where it, it doesn't translate outside of the practice mode. All right, we're on base. We got one more, y'all. We're doing great. I have no idea how long this video is, but let's check out Advanced. And if there's a... So I'm going to go right to the triangle thing. Oh, no, I'm... That seems to be okay. And right to a... So that's a similar combo. That's our favorite combo. But I'm going to keep going with the charge back fist. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is feeling a bit cheesy, honestly. This is like the crotch punch with the flash kickers is just sort of like so effective it's not fair <laughs> or it borders on not fair I mean these are tough fighters you still got to get the timing right which I didn't there Yowzer. you need a little bit more space than that to catch him so the secret sauce is that com I'm not I'm really not seeing a big difference at all between advanced and base. Ooh man, it could be that this guy when he gets you does like follows up with that grab. That could be the difference. But give yourself a little space. Hold triangle. Wait for him right as he starts an attack. It's it's pretty cheesy. <laughs> That's interesting. I'll have to try it outside of the practice mode to see if it's as effective. But other than that, you're rating for this combo, and that opens up a big enough window for you to do. And that's every fighter. They're the secret sauce to to them. Every non-boss archetype. That's the lingo. And yeah, I guess I, I, I hope this helped. I sort of learned a lot. But also feel like, yeah, there's no, it's no wonder I wasn't able to tell the difference between a, some base and advanced fighters or even a mini boss because there are so many similarities. But there are some differences. The big thing, remember, the take home from this is that vulnerabilities almost stay the same across all of the, all of the levels of the archetype. So. Again, Cause, Midnight Lights Gaming. That's me. You're an amazing human. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope this video helped. And like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs so I can start making a little bit of dough from this. And half of whatever I make goes to a charity we choose as a subscriber community every month. I'm looking forward to doing that for the first time, hopefully sometime in 2023. Happy New Year. Be good to you. I will see you around.